Chris Alamanis, Pat Sullivan, Craig Savez, Ken Aman, Enda Stevens, Gary McCabe, Stephen Rice, who's captain, Ronald Finn, Billy Dennehy, Gary Twig, and Kieran Kilduff. For St. Patrick's Athletic, it's Gary Rogers, Derek Pender, Ian Birmingham, Daryl Kavanagh, Stephen Bradley, Evan McMillan, Danny North, Derek Doyle, Brian Chordall, Dave McCahey, and Anthony Murphy. Uh, substitutes for Rovers, Dan Murray, Stephen O'Donnell, Dean Kelly, Paddy Kavanagh, Ryan Thompson, Gary O'Neill, and Conor McCormack. For St. Pat's, it's Shane McFall, Dave McMillan, Neil Harney, Paul Crowley, Ian Daly, Jake Carroll, and Chris Benyon. So, another... Uh, week with lots of drama off the field so uh, hopefully the players can come out and respond today on the pitch so it's uh, Patrick's Athletic going to be tipping off playing into the uh, car park ends and Gary O'Neill quickly rallies the troops so Stephen Rice captain here today uh, Dan Murray on the bench so uh, Rice are takes the captain C in his uh, So, uh, Dave McCallum, the referee here today, so just waiting for him to make sure everything's in place and okay. Being a bit finickety about Ronald Finn having his boot in the centre circle. And we're off here with uh, Stephen Bradley playing the ball back to the Birmingham who launches it forward towards uh, Daryl Kavanagh, but he's completely overhead it and it goes out straight out for a Rovers goal kick. So, good atmosphere here today, good cr hot crowd by the looks of things down the far end there. As uh, Alamanis puts the ball down to take the skull kick. And uh, Hooper man's out with his uh, Believe banner. As Alamanis' goal kick down towards Ronan Finn. Uh, drops to Bradley, who looks to play the ball forward quickly for Kavanagh. And uh, Craig Silas taking no chances, puts it straight out of play. So it's going to be St. Patrick's Athletics throw in halfway inside the Rovers half. Birmingham looks for Kavanagh under pressure from Sullivan but he's done well to turn and he's got away and Ronan Finn forces him out but uh, he's run is checked by Ronan Finn and that's going to be free into Pats right on the edge of the 18 yard box there right on the corner so uh, Stephen Bradley will be over to take this along with Derek Doyle and in Birmingham hanging about as well can put in a decent set piece so a bit of early defending for Rovers to do here Danny North hanging in that little offside position. So it's it's gonna be Bradley with his right towards the back post and over the head of Anto Murphy and out for a goal kick. And the Stevens just doing enough to put Murphy off at the back post. There wasn't an awful lot of uh, power on the ball, so it was more kind of a uh, curl over. Pat's on the front foot here today. Like. As the ball's played forward, there's a push on the back. Twig is beaten in the air by uh, Brian Shorthall, and the ball's played forward for Danny North. Oh, and uh, Craig Sivez just gets enough on the header back to Manus to get it there ahead of Danny North. And Manus gets it quickly to Stevens. Stevens plays the ball down the line for Billy Dennehy. It's Evan McMillan across to win. Brian. Ronan Finn wins it and uh, uh, foul by Mulcahy on uh, Stephen Rice. Just here in front of us. Uh, it's going to be a free, free kick for Rovers, which uh, Andy Stevens is going to take. Uh, oh man, not going forward, neither is Sivez. Uh, so it's Andy Stevens left foot towards the back post. M for Ronan Finn, who wins. Oh, it got rolled by Gary Twig and cleared. And Enda Stevens puts it back in, but only as far as McMillan, whose header will only find Enda Stevens, who controls on his chest, gets away from Anthony Murphy and has a little run here now. And the ball comes off Stephen Bradley, and that's a corner to Shamrock Oh, it's, it's a goal kick, sorry. I thought the referee was going to point to a corner, but it wasn't there. It's uh, obviously took the last touch off Stevens, and it's out for a goal kick to St. Pat's. So Rovers straight back into this after a little bit of early Pat's pressure. So, 
Rogers goal kick is flicked on by Anthony Murphy and Cives has to deal with that under pressure from North goes back to Alan Manis and that's it the ball was kind of bobbling but he's done well to get it clear Kieran Kilduff wins the header but the header only finds Stephen Bradley who's under pressure from uh, under pressure from Kilduff and his pass to Pender is cut out by Stephen Rice and it's only out for a throw in here which uh, Anthony Murphy will take looking for Danny North won by Craig Cives and uh, it's going to be a throw in here to Pats, which Derek Pender is going to take this time. Looking for Stephen Bradley. Bradley just plays it back to Pender. Pender's control is poor, and it goes out for the Rovers throw in. So, Ender Stevens is going to come forward and take this. Basically, just on the halfway line. Goes long towards Kieran Kilduff, who's beaten in the air, but. <laughs> that was a very poor decision there by the linesman. That most definitely came off Kieran Kilduff last, but and Pats have fallen asleep here a little bit, and Rice can get on it. Good ball into the feet of Kilduff. The ball kind of pops up on him, and Bradley gets his foot in. Finds Mulcahy, Mulcahy to uh, short haul and clear long by Anto Murphy. Under it is uh, Craig Sivez, who just is able to cushion his header back to Alan Manis. And, uh, So, man is going to go long with this time. Everyone pushed right up. Looking for uh, Twig, who's beaten in the air, but uh, referee said Twig jumped in late into it, and he's given that as a free out. It was uh, Brian Shorthall he was jumping with there. So, frantic enough start here. No real chances, but... Uh, both teams looking to get the ball in and have had the ball in the box. But the, the, the strikers just able to get on the end of them as uh, Rogers free out. Down towards Cavanagh, won by Sives. Twig plays a little ball inside. He only finds Bradley. Bradley can find uh, Derek Doyle, who's knocked the ball over the head of uh, Sullivan, but uh, Craig Sives across the cover. So it's throwing going to be taken here by uh, Anthony Murphy, who's got a long throw. So now exactly where this is going. So here comes the throw in now by Murphy. It's a this one, but it's uh, well collected by Alan Manis. Throw this area very well, and his kick out's not great. Gary Twig was on the other side of the pitch. And it just goes out for a Pats throw in. Halfway inside their own half to be taken here by Derek Pender. This is a wasted opportunity there. And Anton Murphy wins in the air but only finds Stephen Rice. Danny North puts it. Anton Murphy comes in the back there and a uh, foot in by Danny North to get the ball away. And, and that's going to be a free kick to Stephen Rice. And I thought that was a clean enough tackle there by Rice. And I def definitely did deserve a yellow card, but a yellow card is. So Rice is going to have to be careful now. As uh, Darrell Cavanagh gets up. And it's going to be Stephen Bradley to take the free kick. So Bradley, it's, uh, it's only got a header on that, but it's just gone up in the air. And Ronan Finn wins that. And it's flicked back in, but uh, Sullivan gets it out. It comes here to uh, Mulcahy. Mulcahy beats Finn to it, but Rice gets in and wins that. And McCabe, the ball's... Uh. Book, if he's going to stop the play, he has to book him. Bradley. That's a yellow card for Stephen Bradley. He caught him late, but he should have just played on and given him two. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that's a, a yellow card apiece in the midfields. Uh, Stephen Bradley picking up a yellow card there for a light challenge. I think it was on Roland Finn. So it's uh, played forward by Sives towards Kieran Kalouf. Kalouf is beaten in the air, but Stephen Rice snips in and wins that. The header has gone in behind, and it's short haul has to go back and deal with it. Short haul goes long, but it finds Sullivan. Sullivan's header to McCabe. McCabe header finds Finn who's gone inside short hole and Roman Finn's away here and can he pick him up oh he went for the shot instead of trying to pull it back and it flashed across the goal and just wide at the bar post good work there by Roman Finn he dispossessed short hole and uh, got inside and just like he was going to pull it back and uh, but uh, instead of pulling it back he went for goal himself and it just flashed across the goal but good work there by Rovers good start So it's Rogers here with the goal kick. Once again, aiming for Anton Murphy, who's struggling with Ender of Stevens. Rice gets a little flick onto that and finds Gary Twig. Gary Twig's touch are on and Finn is quite heavy. And Finn can't control it and it's gone out of play. So it's Sean Spats here with uh, Dexter to take it. Once again, looking for Anton Murphy. Anton Murphy falling on the ground. Played forward by Pender towards uh, Kavanagh. Mulcahy jumping with Rice. That's a card! And that's a card for uh, Dave Mulcahy coming in late on Stephen Rice. So I think uh, Dave McKeown has made I think he's kind of set himself a marker with the yellow card on, uh, on Rice that every player has to be really careful here now because that's, that's. I think there's been three tackles made in the in this and the, the three of them have been uh, yellow cards. So, But he was he was late coming in there, Mulcahy. He was definitely a free kick, but I said uh, as Mark Quigley and his bad haircut arose in Tallet. Yeah, fat top flag, look. Lovely. And uh, the free kick taken by uh, down towards Kilduff. Only comes to Sullivan. Sullivan takes the touch, puts it back in, but I think that's going to be Gary Rogers. Rogers only gets a fist away. Comes to Kieran Kilduff. Kilduff. Uh, crowd looking for a penalty. They were never going to give it. Stevens. Bill, a look there by Stevens. Finds uh, Billy Dennehy out here on the left hand side. And Billy puts a decent ball in. It's. Oh. I don't know, uh, Kilduff was trying to chest it for Twig, but it kind of spun the wrong way. And then he gets a clear under pressure from. Uh, that's a great touch by Danny North to keep that in play. And he's having a run at Oman. And as he looks to put the ball in, but he's uh, put it on right. So uh, much better by Rovers. But uh, good work by Danny North away down here, right? Just couldn't find the cross in there. So, uh, Stephen Rice not to back to Sullivan. Sullivan plays it long down towards Kilduff. Kilduff wins. And it looked like it was going to be Kilduff, but uh, Evan McMillan got a foot in. And it's out for the Rovers throw in just on the right hand side there. And it's uh, Finn just knocking it back to Sullivan. Sullivan now looks for the ball inside, but only finds Anton Murphy. Anton Murphy, yeah. Uh, It uh, went to clear and it came off the top of his foot and spun backwards, but uh, it went straight to Gary Rogers, accidental, and so it was no back pass. So Rogers going to look to clear this long. <laughs> Waiting for Anthony Murphy to get into the position because Anthony Murphy is. But it's over Murphy's head. But uh, Billy finds Kieran Kilduff. Kilduff finds looks to find Rice, but he overhit the pass, but it'll only come here to end it. And it looks for the ball down the line for Kieran, and Kieran can get onto that, and he's done well. Kieran Kilduff, and he looks for the ball into uh, the feet of Stephen Rice, and that's going to go out for a Rovers throw in. So, uh, so throw into Pat here, taken by Anton Murphy, but. Uh, was nearly cut out by Rice, but he finds Dal Cavanagh. Dal Cavanagh is fair. Referee pulls it back, and that's going to be a free kick to be taken here by Anthony Murphy. Looks to get it out quickly, but uh, it went to uh, Doyle on the far side, and it's found its way all the way back here at the Pender. 
and Bradley's pass forward is cut out by Rice but referee thought that come off Rice's hands so it's going to be a uh, free in here Stephen Bradley to take it just in front of the uh, the dugout uh, it's taken quickly into the feet of Anto Murphy Anto Murphy looking to turn uh, into Stevens, but instead comes back for Pender Pender looks for the ball down the line no, that's and that's another yellow card so that's our uh, fourth yellow card of the game here now and I don't think there's actually been a bad tackle to be honest with you but uh, as I said he obviously that's what he said, like he said, he sat down on the marker with the first yellow card. Uh, Stevens jumped in. Like he shouldn't have really jumped in because I don't think uh, I don't think uh, Pender was actually going anywhere, but that's no, not Pender, who was it? It's Doyle, is it? Well we're gonna have another free into Pats to be taken by Stephen Bradley. As Pat Subs warming up. Don't do that announcement while he's down. Ask, ask Roach. We can't do it now. See, it's back on. So, it is going to be Bradley to take this free kick in a dangerous position. It's a good angle to put the ball in. So, a good ball in. It's flicked on by North. And Kieran Kalouf keeps it in. And the ball played forward, but it's just going to come as far as uh, Kavanagh, who plays it long. It's flicked on, but only into Alan Manis. So Manus goes short to Sivez. Sivez looking for an option. Has it in Stephen Rice under pressure from Bradley. Goes straight back to Sivez. Not that great. Support. Has to go back to Manus. And Manus will clear long. Down towards uh, McH Sullivan who wins. Finds McKay. Plays the ball down the line for Kilduff. Kilduff gets the ball kind of caught under his feet. But he does well to get it out there. And as he looks to go by McMillan. McMillan puts a foot in. And it's throw into Rovers. So Sullivan goes back here to Sivez. Sivez to Kenoman. Kenoman is going to. Oh, he looked to find uh, Danny he out here, but. Oh, well done by. Uh, by Oman to get it clear, but it only finds. Uh, and it's pulled back to the edge of the box. Oh, and it was Kavanagh arriving in late. Oh, sorry, it was Doyle arriving in late at the back post. But he shot weakly, and uh, it went straight into the feet of Alan Manis, but. Uh, Good work there by uh, by Daryl Cavan. He got into the box and pulled it back. As uh, the ball, uh, Gary McCabe, the little touch finds Finn. Finn plays it forward for Twig. It's clear, but only as far as Gary McCabe, who has Pat Sullivan. And Sullivan plays the ball, looking for Kieran Kilduff. Controlled well by Kieran Kilduff, oh, but uh, once again, there's McMillan in. And the ball, a lovely little cushion ball there by Rice for Enda Stevens. And it takes a touch off Anto Murphy, which takes the momentum out of it. But, but Bradley and uh, Anto Murphy getting in each other's way. And uh, Bradley uh, sees the foul on uh, Billy Dennehy. And it's going to be a uh, free into Rovers. Like 30 yards out from goal. Just to the left hand side of the box here. As we're looking at it. So it's Billy Dennehy and Gary McCabe standing over this. Ken O'Man and. Uh, and uh, Craig Sivez going forward. So Gary McKay walks away, and it is going to be Billy Denny to take this with his left foot. So this is. So delivery here has to be good. That's a decent ball in, but it's attacked. Oh, but the uh, header only comes as far as Cavan, and Cavan can only clear it out for a throw in to Rovers. So a good bit of pressure here by Rovers. Billy Denny here across to take this throw in. And uh, needs a bit of organisation here. Is uh, Stephen Scully so Ken O'Man dropping back in on Danny North here as Twig finds and the Stevens and plays a low ball in. It comes off Stephen Bradley, and that's out for a corner now. Yeah, go on.
So it's Gary McCabe here with the corner. Decent ball in. It's a tag. Oh! And it was Gary Twig, I think. He just couldn't get his head on target. He couldn't get his head around it. And a uh, flash wide there by the... Well, it would work there by... I said it was good work by Kieran Uncle Duff. And, uh, sorry, between Stevens and uh, Twig that won the corner there. When, when the corner came in, it was Twig just couldn't get his head in it. Enough head in it that... Well, he couldn't get his head around it as well. He couldn't need to say to get on target. But it's a goal kick here, which Rogers will take. This time out towards uh, Doyle. He's beaten in the air by Sully. The ball drops to McCahey in midfield. And the Stevens plays the ball forward to Twig. Oh, and that was a... Everyone seemed to miss it, but it's played forward. And Sully's touch is good. And he looks for the ball down the line for Gary Twig. Shorthall has to come and deal with it. Twig's got there ahead of him. It's taking a touch off Shorthall. And Ian Birmingham back. And Birmingham's clearance is blocked down by Gary Twig, and now for a goal kick to uh, Seth Patrick Athletic. So it's been all Rovers now the last couple of minutes. Uh, other than that, obviously, looking at the weak enough effort by, uh, by Doyle. But uh, it's going to be Rogers here with the goal kick. So, Rogers was again looking for Anton Murphy, who's backing into Edda Stevens. Edda Stevens wins. Mulcahy comes across to win that, but can't control it, and Finn can get it and lay it to Enda, Sorry, to Pat Sullivan. Pat Sullivan comes inside well. Looking for the run of Kieran Kilduff, with Short Hall across the cover. And Short Hall forced to put the ball out for a throw into Rovers. So, Rovers keeping their territorial advantage here. With, uh, Rice came across looking for the throw in there, but uh, Sullivan can find Finn instead. Finn looks to knock the ball by uh, Doyle, but it's blocked down and comes to Sivez. And Sivez rolls away from Cavanagh. And good work by uh, Ronan Finn to find Sullivan. Sullivan gets a decent ball in, Kieran! And he. It was coming to Kieran Kilduff, and uh, Rogers was able to just get a fist on it. But I think uh, Kilduff was maybe kind of waiting for that instead of going to attack it. As the ball's played forward to Danny North and he can't get by uh, Oman. And Stevens goes long, but uh, Kilduff is in an offside position. So Shortall has to deal with this. He's under pressure from Gary Twig. Goes to Birmingham. Birmingham now being closed down by McCabe. McCabe blocks down his clearance of old work by uh, Shortall. And the ball's cleared long and out of play. So we're over. Some noise coming out of the east and. Yeah. <laughs> so the throw in finds Gary Mc sorry, McCabe leaves for Kilduff. Kilduff uh first back here to Pat Sullivan. Sullivan has Rice inside, Rice under pressure now, just lets it go by his body. And a good little pass in here to Billy Dennehy. Billy oh he was completely overhit the pass. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do there, Dennehy, but he overhit it. And it just goes straight into Rogers uh, but So Rogers clears long, looking for that. I just ran into him. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Ken O'Man just stood his ground, waiting for the waiting for the ball to drop down, and uh, his Daryl Cavanagh seemed to just run into him. And uh, Dave McCown obviously thought that was it. A free kick, no yellow card this time, but haven't had a yellow card in a few minutes. Must be feeling well. So it's going to be Bradley with the free kick in a dangerous enough position. Uh, Rovers have everyone back. Uh, Pats have just left Birmingham and uh, and it's towards Anton Murphy at the back post. And a good defending header by Pat Sullivan and it's out for a corner. So time Gary Twig is going to come out and they Pats again just leaving um, Detzer and uh, in Birmingham at the, uh, at the back. And Bradley is going to go across to take that corner just in front of the east stand. So 
So his delivery has been decent enough today. He's caused a few problems when he's got the ball into the box. So this one's low and it's flicked on. Oh, great header by Stephen Rice just to get a clear. But well, Cahy and uh, and Shorthall here. Oh, uh, it was a poor pass by Mulcahy. Shorthall was never really going to be able to get onto that. And Stephen Rice is there to cover. And it's out for a goal kick. Good cover and play by Stephen Rice as Paddy Kavanagh goes to warm up a little bit. So, Rovers pushed out, so it's going to be a long one here by uh, Alamanis. Okay. And Kilduff wins the header, finds Gary Twig, but Short Hall gets there. It's played forward, and Rovers are on the break now. And uh, Twig was kind of dallied on the ball and allowed Mulcahy to get a foot in, but the clearance only comes to Rice, who finds Ender Stevens. Ender has. There was no real proper options, and Rice under pressure. Oh, Kavanagh did get ahead to that, but it's come through to Sullivan, who's forced back into uh, Greg Sivez. Sivez into the feet of Finn. Finn back here to Ken O'Man. That's better by Rowers. A man with a bit of space to bring the ball into it, and he looks for the run at Enda Stevens. Enda beautifully controls it on his chest, faced by Derek Pender. Gets by Derek Pender, and he's into the box. Oh, a great save by Rogers at his near post. Brilliant work by Ender Stevens. Lovely angle ball by uh, Ken O'Man. Control on the chest by Ender Stevens. He got inside Derek Pender. As Mulcahy was coming across the butter for the He got a shot away at his left into the bottom corner, but uh, Rogers stuck out a boot. And a uh, really good save. But it's only a corner here to Rovers, which uh, Gary McCabe is cross to take. Billy then he pulls Birmingham out. And a good ball in, but that's going to be uh, it's completely over hit. And it's uh, out for a uh, pass goal kick on the far side there. Poor delivery there by M. Um, by Gary McCabe. Well, that's better by Rovers. There's a good ball by uh, by our man to pick out uh, Stevens. Stevens did really, really well. So Rogers with the goal kick here. Uh, Sullivan beating Callan. I was already dialed in the air, but uh, only out for a Pat's throw in, which Ian Birmingham will take. One by Sullivan finds McCabe. McCabe probably had a bit more time than he thought there, but he chose to clear and go along. And McMillan under pressure from uh, Billy Dennehy plays it forward. McCabe wins the header. A little flip by Sivez, but the ball had just come back through to uh, Alamanis. So. Manus going to go along here. Down towards Gary Twig. Twig will come through here to Billy. Billy flicks it on to uh, Kieran Kilduff. And Kieran Kilduff is forced wide, but uh, it's a poor ball. But he's found Ender Stevens. And Anto Murphy gets across and gets a foot in. So it's only a throw in here, which it's taken quickly to Billy Denny. And Billy can get one in as if that's a decent ball in. Oh, and it comes to Gary McCabe here at the back post. Uh, Penner didn't deal with that. And he plays it in his left arm just wide at the bottom. Good work there by Gary McCabe. Uh, the ball came from the cross, came right across. Uh, Pender didn't, uh, sorry, uh, Birmingham on the far side didn't deal with it. It came to McCabe, who cut inside onto his left and uh, flashed one across at the near post here, but uh, just wide there. So, another good chance. Goes a the begging there for Roberts, but. So, uh, I think I'm not, not quite sure what that was. I think Boy was jumping late. Ball flicked down by Twig for Kieran Kilduff. A referee! It's, uh, Evan McMillan just. The ball was flicked down to Kilduff. And Evan Mc. As uh, oh, Kevin and looked to play the ball through, it's cut out by Ken O'Man. Oh, and Ken O'Man, instead of looking for the feet, has gone long. Gary Twig had dropped it, he found himself a little bit of space in midfield. And if a man had just picked out the pass instead of clearing long, he 
Get space to turn and get on top, but in the end, it's ended up back with Rogers. And uh, Rogers clears long once again out the side towards Anto Murphy. Anto Murphy wins the header, but it drops into midfield and it's cleared by Sullivan. Uh, Twig looks to cushion it for Billy Dennehy, but it comes here to Ronald Finn in midfield under pressure from Mulcahy. He finds Gary McCabe. Gary McCabe's going to look to come inside here and finds Enda Stevens. Uh, and uh, finds Billy. Billy can turn here and maybe have a run, but he goes back to end it instead. And a decent ball in. He was looking for the run around and Finn, but the execution was poor. And Rogers looks quickly to get uh, Danny North away. Headers won by Cives. Comes to Anton Murphy, who finds Kavanagh in midfield. Kavanagh's given too much space to turn, and he can have a run at Stephen Rice now. And he's got away, and he's got a, a long shot away, and I don't think it was ever going in. Uh, Alan Manis was late getting down to it, but... Uh, it just kind of hit the outside of the post and went wide, so... So, uh, Kavanagh was giving away too much space there to turn, and, and uh, of course, Stephen Rice on the yellow card, he was maybe thinking twice about putting the challenge in that could have resulted in a second one, but in the end, the shot... I, mean, I, I think Manus would have got down to it, but instead it just clipped off the outside of the post and would, as Kieran Kilduff wins the header there. And... the. That one comes here to uh, oh McCabe. McCabe doesn't get a shout. That Ben that Doyle's behind him, and McCabe was pulling on the arm of uh, Doyle, and uh, it's going to be a free out here at St. Pat's. So uh, Rogers clears long once again looking for Anto Murphy. And uh, with a push in the back on Anto. So it's uh, going to be another free into Pats in another dangerous area. <sighs> so Kavanaugh hanging on the edge of the box here. Will someone come out to pick him up? He's going to play the short to Kavanagh, but it looks at things. Oh no, he's going to play it in. Kavanagh moves into the box now, so it is Braddy with this. Good ball in. Good header. Oh, just over the bar. And uh, I think Manus had it covered, but he watched it all the way. Had his hand ready to shoot up if needed, but it was a good delivery in by Bradley. Kind of played it back in behind Rowdy, and, and um, I'm not even quite sure who the header was, but uh, it was always going to be difficult for him to get the ball on target and with the requisite power to be Alan Manus from there, but in the end, it just dipped over the bar. And it's a goal kick to Roberts, which man is going to take. Everyone push right on up the pitch here. And it's towards Kilduff. Kilduff beating the air, but it just comes to Sully. Sully plays the ball over the top for Ronan Finn. Re Ronan Finn is fouled by Mulcahy. Just clattered into the back of Ronan Finn as he looked to control the ball on his chest there. So, dangerous position for Roberts uh, to put this free kick in. Once again, it's McCabe and Dennehy over there. Fancy McCabe with the right foot from uh, this position. So it's going to be McCabe with the right foot towards the back post. Kieran Uncle Oh no, it was Ken O'Man at the back post. But, uh, the ball hasn't gone out of play. Good work by Billy Denny to keep it in and get the decent ball in. But uh, Rogers comes and collects it. And straight away, he looks to get North away. And Ender Stevens needs to be awake here. Oh, great work by Ender Stevens. Watch that all the way. I think uh, North is anticipating the uh, the nod back to Manus. But uh, he pushed on, but allowed uh, Stevens just to control the ball and come away here. Great ball for Kieran Kilduff. Oh, and Oof. Uh, the header there by uh, Mike Millen just enough to get it back to uh, to uh, to Rogers as Kilduff was in or I was and Rogers clearance down towards Danny North beating the air by uh, Oman. Oman finds Finn Finn to Danny. Danny turns away from uh, 
Billy Denny but loses out Mulcahy in midfield Stephen Rice across to nick the ball away and puts Roland Finn away and if Finn gets oh well covered by Short Hall to get across to get a foot in because Finn was away there but the throw's taken quickly here to uh, Pat Sullivan Pat Sullivan finds Roland Finn outside hugging that touch line Finn back into Sullivan continues to run oh the great it was a decent ball in but uh, wasn't in the path of Finn so uh, of course Rice, Rice in trouble here now but uh, he's done well to get it back here to Sivez Sivez forced all the way back to Manus under pressure from North clears long towards Ronald Finn jumping with Mulcahy Mulcahy wins but only finds Stephen Rice Stephen Rice looks to feed Pat Sullivan who's found by uh, Daryl Cavanagh and it's going to be just free kick to Rovers just in the halfway line there Look, Sivez looking to take it quickly but Gonna wait the push on, so it is gonna be Sivas to take this. <coughs> so the ball in be Kaluk beaten in the air, but it'll only come here to Gary McCabe. Himself and Billy have switched side. Gets it back here to Ender Stevens. Stevens back to Gary McCabe. McKay plays a beautiful ball. It's flicked on now, but it's no one there, and it just goes right through to Rogers. Great ball in by Gary McCabe. Anyone coming in that just needs to get a touch on it, but it just eluded the run of Twig and um, it found its way back through to Rogers. So uh, Stevens tussling with Murphy. Murphy gets the better of it, and it comes through to Danny North. Danny North looking for the run of McKay. And uh, Sullivan was caught late by uh, Doyle. <laughs> so, Manus with the free out. Once again, looking for killed off. It's beaten in the air, but... Billy can get onto that and he's strong here. Billy does really well. Get Nicks away and is fouled at the edge of the box there by Ian Berman. By it was so. It looks like it's going to be it's going to be Billy Denny to take this very similar position to where he scored against Sligo last season. <laughs> so, uh, Ben McCown making sure he gets his requisite ten yards, and you have to think that Billy's going to have a goal from here. So Billy just taking a few steps back now. Keep it down, Billy. Billy. Oh, and just wide at a far post. Good effort by Billy Dennehy. But just couldn't get enough bend on it to bring it back in. So, clearance comes down towards Ender Stevens. It's won there by Murphy. Into the feet of Danny North. Danny North looks to get by. Uh, yes. But, uh, oh, that's a great ball by Sully to pick out. Um, Twiggy, who dropped into a midfield position. Gets it out here to Gary McCabe. McCabe into the feet of Billy. And Billy looks to get by, but it's uh, McMillan who gets a foot in. So, much better there by Rovers. Clever little ball by uh, Sullivan to pick out. Uh, Twig who dropped into a midfield, got out to McCabe, McCabe looked, at, oh well done by Gary McCabe, he's turned away from um, Bradley and he, Twig had to stretch for that and he's got Sullivan and Sullivan gets it out here to, uh, oh the great ball in, Gary Twig, oh and a great, 
just didn't get enough power on the header and it's a Rogers much better play by Rovers the ball into a twig by Danny by McCabe wasn't great but he got a toe on it he was able to get it back and the ball was played out by Finn to uh, Sullivan Sullivan played a beautiful ball in and Gary Twig got his head in it but not enough power and Rogers was able to just to order it in as uh, Doyle fouls uh, Pat Sullivan and uh, it's going to be a free out to Rovers So, Alamanis with the free out. Mukai beating in the air. And I think Mukai, no, it wasn't Mukai, it was a sh sh short haul, was it? Took a, a knock to the head, so the referees stop play. I don't think it was actually a foul. Right? Andy Moyler is uh, Rovers number two for the day. With the, the absence of uh, Trevor Crowley. <laughs> I think he lost his post pass. <laughs> so the ball will play back to Rogers. Rogers goes long towards Doyle. Doyle wins it, knocks it forward. Seves clears. Uh, flicked on there by uh, McCabe, who's done Robert Denny, who's done really well. And oh, that was unlucky by Billy Denny. He looked a little dragged back to get inside, but it was cut out. And uh, as he blocked down the pass there, but it ended up that was it. Never, it was a pass ball all the way, all the way, yeah. <laughs> Pete man, not a happy man at the moment. I don't think he's ever happy, is he? <laughs> so, the ball played forward. Mike Millen's clearance is scuffed and uh, out for a throw into Rovers. Halfway inside the Pats half. Oh, little oh, great work by the oh, shh. lovely little back here by Billy Denny. He put Finn away. It was cleared by Short but only for throwing and a uh, chance here for Billy to put a ball into decent ball in again. It's tacked well cleared by McMillan. Rice jumping, oh, the, but the ball's broke nicely for oh, Danny Knight looked to knock the ball by Sivers. Sivers was able to just get his chest in the way and find Kennel Man. Kennel Man to Stephen who has Gary McCabe outside him. Billy. Oh, Twiggy's done well to get into that bit of space, and he looked to let it go by him. Oh, and uh, the clearance, and it's going to be uh, Pat Shaw in. Uh, Twig did well to to cover the space there. So Danny North flicks it on for cabinet. Cabinet, Craig Sivez, oh, but it's uh, knocked up in the air, and it'll Doyle, if he can get a good touch on that. <laughs> so, uh, Doyle wins the throw in there. He's going to leave it for Anto Murphy to take. No chance for Anto Murphy to put a long one in here. Kieran Kaluk was back in. Birmingham come Charlotte for it, but this is this is going into the box. Flicked oh well cleared. Uh, but it comes out to uh, Stephen Bradley, who has still has Anthony Murphy out there. Finn gets across to him, but he has to come back here to Bradley. Bradley oh well cut out by Ronald Finn and Rowers can break now with Kieran with Billy Dennehy. Billy Denny with great ball for Ronald Finn, but oh well done Danny North tracked the round. 
if uh, if you kind of slow things down there a bit, Billy, if he could have got it out of his feet a bit quicker, but we're still on here with Ronald Finn into Billy Dennehy. Dennehy to uh, Sullivan. Sullivan, oh. Oh, he looked for the run of Billy Dennehy. It was a good idea there by Pat Sullivan, but slightly over hit the pass and it uh, ran all the way through to Rogers, but more good play there by Rovers. But uh, good, as I said, good tracking back there by Danny North. It was his mistake that kind of got the. But uh, Sullivan clears long. Uh, Birmingham lets it go by his body, and that's not going to go out of play. So Stephen Rice pushing up onto Rally. Birmingham goes back to Rogers. Rogers clears long. It's over the head of Sullivan. Sullivan. Uh, I think uh, Doyle was actually in an offside position, was he? Or whether he had a hand on his back, I'm not quite sure, but. It's ended up with a free out to Rovers. I don't know. He should still be in bed. So, Billy Denny wins the header. Birmingham's touch. On! Oh! <sighs> I think Twiggy did have it. <laughs> So, uh, only a minute of time added on here. And it's going to be Rogers to take the free out. Once again, looking for Anton Murphy. He jumps across, Ken O'Man. But, uh, uh, the man was slow getting up that time. And <laughs> And uh, Andrew Murphy was in an acre of space, but uh, Kavanagh chose to cross the ball rather than put it through to him. So uh, the ball goes out on the far side, and it's going to be a uh, go kick to Rovers. And Damien McGowan blows his whistle for the end of the first half. So much better by Rovers. Uh, after the last two performances, the Rovers really did a big performance here today, and um, if they can keep up that level of performance in the second half, yeah, you have to think that that will get something out of this game, get a goal out of it. So uh, I'll talk to you in the second half, folks. Bye bye. Thank you. 
Welcome back now. We're back out on the pitch. I don't think there's been any changes on either side. You always get the short end of the straw, Mark, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> off, yeah, probably better off. <laughs> I, sp I spent last Friday night in Sligo General Hospital. What? One of the young lads on our bus took was epileptic, took a fit. So I was running the bus, so I had to. I was alright, I kept them in overnight, but. He said, I said, look, I'd have better going to the house to the people who were there anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was alright, they just kept them in overnight, just to, and they let them go the next day. So, just waiting for it. Mr. McKeown to. Blow the whistle, and uh, so Robert's tip off, playing into the car park end. This one said, Look at about, I don't think there's been any changes. So it's as you were. Oh, yeah. And uh, Stephen Rice looks for Kieran Kaluf, who Robert's straight in the tack here with uh, McCabe finds Finn. Finn looks to get the ball out of the box. It comes out the back of McCabe and drops to the feet of Bradley. Bradley finds Anthony Murphy and Anthony Murphy goes back to uh, Derek Pender. Derek Pender, a bit of space in front of him. Plays the ball forward. Ken O'Man heads forward but only finds Murphy. Murphy's header only finds Ender. Oh, good ball. Around Finn. Finn looks. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the ball comes to Rice. Rice looks to play it forward. Can I miss? But Bradley's pass. <laughs> so the ball into the feet of Gary Twig. Twig under pressure, but. Does well to get back here to Pat Sullivan. Sullivan has McCabe outside, and McCabe goes back into Rice. Rice in the feet of Gary Twig. Twig to Finn here at the edge of the box. Goes to uh, Ender Stevens. Stevens to Billy Dennehy. Dennehy going to look to take on Pender here. Gets to the back line. Comes to Kieran Kaluf. Needs an option. It's Ender Stevens. Ender Stevens bursting into the box. Good play by Bradley just to block off his run there, but he. Goes out to Billy Dennehy. Then he looked to get to the back line again and a decent ball in. And it's uh, shielded out by Birmingham and uh, out for uh, a goal kick to St. Pat. So good start to the second half by Rovers on the front foot straight away. So Rogers with the goal kick, long towards Kavanagh. Kavanagh got there ahead of it, and the ball. The ball comes off Gary McCabe, and out, out for a throw into St Pat's, just in the halfway line there. The ball throw back to the crowd, just misses Huberman. So it's going to be Birmingham to take this, right on the halfway line. Looking for Doyle, it's flicked on by Doyle, but only as far as uh, Sivas. Sivas plays forward to Twig, Twig's first touch will take him away from Birmingham. But as he looked to play the ball back to McCabe, under pressure from Shorthall. Bradley now under pressure from Rice, goes back to McMillan. McMillan goes long, but it's only going to find Ender Stevens. Ender Stevens touches good, plays a little ball through to Stephen Rice, but uh, Rice couldn't get onto it. Bradley got there, Bradley plays it out to Pender. Pender cuts inside Billy, but runs into Stephen Rice. Stephen Rice, it comes out to uh, Billy here on the, Billy looking to come inside and he's got inside but Penner got there and plays the ball forward and Finn slips and it comes to Kavanagh, ah, Kavanagh just to be fouled there by Roman Finn, so it's going to be a free to Pat's taken quickly by Anton Murphy looking for the run at Danny North, 
but well read by Craig Sivers. Gets it out to uh, Kennelman. And North got a foot in ahead of uh, Craig Sivers there, but you can only put it out for a throw in to Rovers. So, uh, well, it's actually Kennelman who's uh, just tying his shoelace there. So, long throw forward. Uh, Finn beaten, or Danny beaten in the air. Knocked forward by uh, by Bradley, but uh, Ken O'Man can just nod it to Alan Manis. And Robert's going to look to go a bit more direct this time. Down towards Gary McCabe. McCabe beaten in the air by uh, Birmingham, but uh, comes to Rice. Rice to Sullivan. Sullivan down the line for Twig. Uh, short hole. Going to try Shepard that, but he's done well to get his body in front of it. And he goes to clear. It's blocked down by Gary Twig. And out for a throw with the Pats. <laughs> kind of pinned into their own half here a little bit. But uh, a good long throw by Birmingham. But only finds Rice. Rice it pops up on him. Comes to McCabe here. McCabe steps back in. And comes to Sullivan. S Sullivan. Was tackled by uh, Birmingham and it's Birmingham went to come away with the ball Gary McCabe is across put a foot in and the last touch off Gary McCabe is throwing to Pats Taken by Birmingham uh, two Rovers players going for the same ball it breaks into midfield knocked forward by Bradley but uh, Cervez's header only finds uh, Anthony Murphy Anthony Murphy looking for the run of Kavanagh Kavanagh at the edge of the box force wide he has uh, Pender coming up outside him in Oh, instead looking for McCahy, but McCahy had fouled Stephen Rice as Rice came across. And it'll be a free out to Rovers as uh, Stephen Rice gets back up on his feet. So, it's going to Alamanis to go along this time. Down towards Gary Twig. Twig is beaten in the air, and I think that... I think that actually did take the last touch off Gary Twig, but uh, lines I didn't see it, neither the referee. Sully takes it back here to Craig Sylves. Sylves to Sully in a tight situation. Oh, and he... Oh, he's done really well, and McCary uh, gets himself in a tight situation, but it's Mulcahy who comes away, but his pass is poor. And finds Rice, Rice finds McCabe who, if Rovers can spread this now, and they have to go with Stephen Rice out to end the Stevens. Oh look at that space, Stevens has to go to Danny, Danny back in here to Stevens. They needed a little bit of movement in front of him here, oh that's a, an awkward ball for Finn, but he's found Sivez, Sivez to, McCa to De Sullivan, Sullivan to McCabe, McCabe to Finn, Finn to Gary Twig, Twig towards, finds Kieran, comes off, Gary Twig! Get me breath back there. What an absolutely brilliant. So, eight minutes into the uh, into the first half, second half, it's Shamrock Rovers one to Pat's nil. So Rovers need to just concentrate here. As Anto Murphy's header finds over the head of North. Oh, and Sivez got caught there, but no messing by Ken O'Man. Gets a clear down towards Kieran Kalouf. Kalouf beaten in the air by Birmingham. Mulcahy knocks it back to... Uh, to Shorthall and Shorthall made that very awkward for Rogers, but Rogers does well. Bradley battling with Rice. His header finds a uh, tweak who finds uh, Billy Denny. Billy Denny is into the boxing. Oh, but there was no power in his shot, and it's easily saved by Rogers. 
Oh yeah, thanks man. Sorry, this is like a slip of cow here, folks. <laughs> I'm trying not to get cold. So, uh, let's see if that's header knocked forward, but clear by uh, McMillan, knocked forward by uh, Birmingham, or by, by Pender. Uh, Kavanaugh was fouled in uh, Craig Sivet, it's Kellen Man, so it's three outs or overs here. Hate that Hooper kid, you'll have to wait until Monday now to say he was a cracker. So flicked on by Finn, Birmingham underneath it, clears along, but Audi finds Sullivan. Sullivan's tourist touch is great. And plays a little reverse ball into Gary Twig. Twig sets it up. Oh, well done, Stephen Bradley, because Kilduff was in there. Ah, oh, no! Oh, it's gone. And the fourth official. And so, Michael, I don't know what happened here. So Mike O'Neill's being sent to the stands. And uh <laughs> So Kenner man wins that flick down again by Finn. It's Billy Denny. He looking for the run around the field. Finn's in here. But he's gone right. He just holds up. And it's blocked. On. So the ball drops here to Sivas. Under pressure, and Max come away. And he finds uh, Kieran Kilduff, who can just hold the ball up there and wait for Gary McCabe. Ball back to McCabe. McCabe has no real option here. But uh, Sullivan moves forward and finds a bit of space here. And he down the line for Gary McCabe. Chance for Gary McCabe to pull a low ball in. But it's well dealt with once again by, uh, by Dave McCahey, I think it was. Throw taken quickly, McKay back to Sully. Sully looks play a ball in. It's oh, into the feet, Gary Twig. Billy Danny! Oh, and it, once again, it's straight, it's straight at Rogers with no power in it, but uh, good work again by Sullivan uh, and uh, McKay. But uh, just was as Twig uh, chested it and set it up for uh, Danny, he just wasn't enough power in it. But back on here, ball played forward to Ant Murphy into uh, Kavanagh. Kavanagh turns, looks to get inside Ken O'Man, but O'Man's read it really well. And no! So, it's going to be Brady to take this towards the back post. And Don Murphy can't keep it in. So, 
So we're going to have a pat substitution here. It's Shane McFall going to come on. And it's Stephen Bradley coming off. So, uh, so I think we're going to... So I think we're going to see uh, Pat's going a little bit more direct here. Uh, they're taking a badly skill for um, Shane McFall's more uh, physical presence in midfield. And it looks like it is tagged out. Doesn't look too, doesn't look easy there, Bradley. But, but Manus with the goal kick. Won by Kieran Kilduff. Controlled by Gary McCabe. Little back here for Ronald Finn. Finn looks to get by Mulcahy. Mulcahy does well to recover, but he's uh, under pressure by Finn. Finn just needs to keep his hand off him. Gary Twee gets a foot in, and it's out for a throw at the Pats. Down near the corner flag. So, Sully wins the header. Uh, Birmingham gets there ahead of Twig. On good work by Kieran Kilduff to find uh, McCabe, who's going to be forced into the corner a little bit, but he's doing nothing in his bo trickery box to get him out of there. And he finds Sully, and Sully finds McCabe away. And a low ball in. And it's uh, Anton Murphy, who's a uh, makeshift centre half there. Plays it out, and it's only out for a long strong in. And it's uh, Pat Sullivan's going to be taken. So looks at a run at Gary. Great ball. Finds Gary Twig. Twig under pressure. Gets it back. And Billy, oh, Billy just couldn't get there. And uh, Anton Murphy can come away with it. And uh, Rovers need to get a few bodies back here because there's a lot of space in that midfield. The ball's played forward for Cabinet, who's got uh, Oman for company. Oman does well, gets a foot in, and that won't go out of play. And he knocks the ball off Cabinet now for the throw into Rovers. Great work there by Ken Oman. So the throw down towards Kildo flicked on. And Billy's got boy McMillan there. And he's being held back, but he's kept on his feet. And his ball to Kildo is poor, forces Kildo forward. But Kildo can collect and come back in here to Billy, who's got uh, Derek Penn there for company. Decent ball in. But El Rogers uh, with one hand collects that. And looks to get Danny North away straight away. North's touch is good. Stephen Rice, brilliant, brilliant by Stephen Rice. Nips in and gets ahead of that and just lays it to Sully. Sully has to wait for Twiggy to come back. It's round and fin, back to Sully. The ball played forward and uh, Birmingham has to deal with that because he's got Gary McCabe there. And Gary McCabe can get onto that. And McCabe's done well and he's beaten Penn. No, oh, he's checked back inside. No, it's a poor ball but Rice has done well to get there ahead of uh, McMillan. Back in here to Sully. Sully back to McCabe. Good patient build up here by Rovers. Waiting for the run of Sully and a great ball. And it's Sullivan out. And his cross is blocked down. It's out for Rovers. Throw in. Yeah. So, uh, so it's uh, Sully. I uh, looked at it, played at the nuts on Birmingham, but Birmingham stood his ground. And as Birmingham goes to clear, it's blocked down by Ronald Finn. And it's out for a throw at St. Pat's. So, Sullivan wins the header. Twig up and jump with Mackay. Mackay plays the ball over his head. It's good touch by Cavanagh. But another and blow an interception by uh, Stephen Rice. Sullivan, Sullivan gets the ball down the line. And Kildoff was in an offside position. But uh, <laughs> Anthony Murphy was in an acre of space over there in his own if they could have switched the play, but they chose to stay on this side. And, uh, it was a great interception by Stephen Rice, but the ball was played down for Kieran Kildoff. It was a. Uh, <laughs> so it's Rogers with three out. Played long. Greg Sivez under that towering header gets it away, but only as far as Birmingham. Birmingham finds Mulcahy. Mulcahy under pressure from Rice goes across to Pender. Pender looking for Anton Murphy, but it was an awkward ball. He played to him. He's gone back in here to McMillan. McMillan steps aside, finds Mulcahy. 
Rowland Finn with the foot in, but he gets it to Murphy. He plays the little one too. And Cavalier back to Murphy. Looking for the run of uh, Mulcahy. But he, Stevens looked like he had that, but Mulcahy got a foot in ahead of him, and it's Pender now. Pender back to Mulcahy. Mulcahy to Cavanagh. Cavanagh inside the box. And Keno, it's uh, Sivez with the clearance, but only as far as Mulcahy. A little bit of pressure here by Pats. Uh, Pender looks to get the ball in, it comes off. Uh, Ender Stevens and uh, out for a throw at the Pats. Just parallel to the Rovers' 18 yard line there. And this time it is going to be Anthony Murphy to put it long. And it's uh, short all moving forward. All the Pats big men just Birmingham and uh, Pender at the back with Gary Twig. So good long throw in by Murphy. Won by Ken O'Man. Great header. Billy's clearance will only make it to the edge of the box. McMillan beats McCabe in the air. And it's flicked on. And uh, chance now for Billy Denny if he can get onto this. And he's kept it in and he's done well. Uh, but a good foot in by Anton Murphy. But uh, it relieves the pressure. So Rovers can slow things down a little bit here. No time. Do we know hurry to get up and take this foot? It's going to be Ender Stevens to take it anyway. 20 minutes gone here in this second half. Still Shamrock Rovers won, so Patrick Leddick nil. Uh, Gary Twig with the goal for hours on the 8 minute of the second half. As uh, Twig gets the better short hole, but it's played back here. Pender under pressure from Finn. Finn forcing him down into the corner. Finn, good work, forces uh, McHale to clear and out for the Rovers throw in. Take it quickly, it's Denny Heath to uh, Ender. Ender's going to have a little run here now, and he's done well, and he's got into the box, but a uh, clearing here by, uh, by Evan McMillan, and uh, Andrew Murphy looked to add on to the clearance, but he could only knock it out of play for another Rovers throw in, so. So it's uh, Ender Stevens back to Billy Dennehy. Then he looking to have a run at Pender. Goes back to Ender Stevens. And Ender can put a low ball in, but it's cut out. And it's a chance for uh, Kavanagh to come away here. He's Birmingham out here in Birmingham. We'll look for the run at Danny North. Uh, Sivez. Sivez, oh, great covering by Sivez. And just knocks it back in here to Ken O'Man. Ken O'Man to Ender Stevens. Needs that midfield option to show. And it's Gary Twig who drops on. A little too. And. And oh, it was a good idea between them, um, Kilduff and Twig. But, uh, no! <laughs> Short all under pressure from McCown. Um, oh, I'm sorry, under pressure from Kilduff and uh, McCown thought that was a foul. And he's given a free out to Pats. So, <sighs> Rogers once again looking for Anton Murphy. Anton Murphy knocks a head on there. But uh, down towards Cavanagh. And Ken O'Man gets it clear, but only as far as Mulcahy. Mulcahy finds uh, Doyle. Doyle checks back inside to Mike Millen. Oh, sorry, to Shane McFall, actually. And, and uh, Rice Carla. And it's out. Uh, Birmingham finds uh, Danny North. Danny North looks to get a ball into the box, cleared by Ken O'Man. Billy Dennehy watched the ball go over his head and uh, Birmingham got that uh, Pendleton going to win that and find Mulcahy. Mulcahy has no options in front of him. First to go back, great work by Billy Dennehy. And Kieran Alcadoff is on to this. And that's a yellow. That's it. And Rovers win uh, the free kick. I thought Pender, I thought he intensely handled the ball on the ground there. And he's already on the yellow, Mulcahy. Oh, the ball's playing in. Oh, it was flicked on, but there was no Rovers player at the end of it. And a good call by Rogers. He was able to just come and cut the danger. I'd say so. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Easily beating Cavanagh in the air. Knocked forward by Dennehy. Flicked on by Pender and had an answer by Murphy. Clear by Ken O'Man, and that hasn't gone out of play. 
and it has now of Derek Pender and it's a Rovers show in half inside their own half and it looks like we're going to have a Rovers substitution here it looks like it's Dean Kelly going to come on which I have to think will be for maybe for Kieran Kilduff don't be filming me man. so ended with the long throw and flicked on by Kilduff and the ball had gone out of play there McMillan couldn't keep it in play and it's going to be a Rovers throw in and it is Dean Kelly going to be given an opportunity here. Hasn't really, hasn't really been given much opportunities when it uh, played that came on, it came scored in the game against that loan. But and uh, the ball cannons off Murphy and out for a Rovers throw in. So I think we might have the substitution now. Be interested to see who it is. It is, uh, it is Kieran Kildorf who's coming off for uh, Dean Kelly. So it's a like, for, pretty much a like for a like. So I think Kelly on for Kieran Kalouf. So transfer Dean to improve himself improve himself here as uh, Ender takes the throw in long and it's straight to Kelly who's forced touches to knock it on but it's clear there Finn controls it midfield Ender, Ender puts a ball into the box but a big call from Gary Rogers and uh, he's able to come and collect it uh, uh, ball comes off Sivez to Gary McKay McKay to Sully it was a difficult ball for Sully, he had to play it long. So Dean Kelly can put Shortall under pressure. And Shortall blindly plays the ball and he only finds Gary Twig. And Gary Twig to Ronald Finn, Finn's in there! Oh, but his first touch is poor. He was under pressure by Shane McFall. His first touch was poor and uh, it just basically ran through to, uh, to Rogers. But more would work there, good play by uh, Gary McCabe to put pressure on Shortall. It was always going to be difficult for him, that ball was played. So, uh, a man beats uh, Juan Gary. Oh no. Ball played forward, but Twi it was always going to be difficult for Twiggy to get on the end of that. Uh, Rogers clears, looking for uh, Cavanagh. He goes over the head of Cavanagh, over the head of Sullivan, and now for a Rovers throw in. Is it about halfway inside? Halfway inside the always half taken by Sullivan down towards Gary Twig. Tw oh, Kelly couldn't get to that. It's cleared by McMillan, and that will go out of play. Danny North, the Toddy captain, and play up. Can you run? But uh, Lionsman's flag was up, and we're going to have a pat so another pat substitution now. It's David McMillan who's going to be coming on. So a foul by Rice on Cavanagh, and if we obviously need to be awake, Birmingham's away down the left. But uh, good work by McCabe to stop the free kick getting taken quickly. So uh, it's Mike Millen and, uh, and Doyle standing over it. Of course, with Bradley off, we would probably have been taking all the set pieces, but it's going to be Doyle to take it. Low flicked on. Murphy look, can, looks to play it back across, but can't keep it in play. And it goes out for a uh, Rovers goal kick. So, Anton Murphy off and uh, David McMillan on. <laughs> so, McF he's going to go up front alongside uh, 
Danny North. Referee! What? Yeah, jeez! So, uh, Birmingham went up into the back of uh, Stephen Rice there. So, it's a chance for Rovers to put the ball into the box here. Uh, Ken O'Man staying back with Andy Stevens. Now, Ken O'Man's going to push on now, so it's going to be uh, Pat Sullivan to take this. Ken O'Man's already scored once against Pats this season. And uh, the game here in Tallet. Good piece of ball in. It looks to be flicked on, but... Uh, on. What the fuck is that? So, uh, 15 to go here, and uh, it's going to be a uh, free out to Pats to be taken by Rogers. So, Rogers plays long, looking for McMillan. It's won by Craig Sivez. It'll come to Dean Kelly. His first touch is good, and he's got away from uh, it's Billy Denny here, right here down the left, and he, he's kept that in. Got it back. Oh, and acrobatically by uh, Dean Kelly, and I think it was Rogers actually. Yeah, well Rogers seemed to think it was a corner, and he got up and prepared himself for it. I don't know. Maybe it was when they, when they pull it back in. So, once again, long. So, McMillan fell there by uh, Kenelman, and it's going to be another free to Pats. The Rollers need to be awake to her. Birmingham making a run. Uh, got headed by Gary McCow just to knock it out. A lot of go for Pats throw in, but. You have to be away to that because Birmingham made the pull wide and then made the, the angle run into the box. It's Danny North. Forced backward by Sullivan. Played forward by McMillan. And Sivez needs to deal with that under pressure. And it's out for a uh, corner kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. So, uh, Short Hall and, uh, and McMillan going forward. So, it's uh, going to be Danny North to take this. So, Rovers have conceded a few goals from set pieces in the last few games, so this needs to be defended well. It's the back, Mokahi can't get the ball back across, and they'll just go out for a Rovers goal kick. It was a decent delivery by Danny North. Uh, Mokahi was waiting at the back post, and uh, he looked to get it back across the goal, but uh, he just, uh, he just went out for a goal kick. So it looks like Pats are going to make that third and final substitution. No idea who it is, but we'll, we'll see now. Big, lo big lanky bloke. Play forward. Uh, to Dean Kelly. Dean Kelly does well to hold it up. And finds uh, Pat Sullivan. Sullivan plays the ball for Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn plays it inside. Uh, cleared by Shorthall. Added on to by, uh, by Mulcahy. Uh, it's McMillan here. Plays to Doyle. Good ball in for the on-rushing. Um, McFall. And Stevens as well. But it just drops into midfield to Mulcahy. Force it forward. And uh, Royce got there ahead of him, but <laughs> so that's just to be a foul there by uh, Mulcahy coming in behind. He's already on a yellow card, so so Rovers in no hurry to take this. It's so going to be Craig Sivers to take it, and. Uh, Looks like we're going to have another Rovers substitution here. It might be, uh, it is Conor McCormick going to come on. As the ball's played forward, flicked on by Twig for uh, Finn. F cleared by Birmingham. Uh, McMillan beats Rice in the air. Comes to Doyle. Doyle plays the ball for Danny North. Danny North scrambling with uh, Sivez. There was nothing to it. Danny North appealing for a free kick. That was never a free kick. And Alan Manis can just... So, Twig beating in the air, and it does well, but it'll just drop into McFall, under pressure from Dennehy, tries to get out to Kavanagh, Kavanagh's touch is good, 
but uh, ended as well and can just get it back in here to Ke to Alan Manis. So Alan can waste a little bit of time here. It is great now. Uh, played forward. Oh, well done, Gary Twig. Controls it on his knee. But uh, uh, Doyle nicks in ahead of him, and uh, as Twig looks to get a foot in, it ends up as a Pats throw in to be taken here by uh, Ian Birmingham. And I think Pete Mann wanted to do the substitution there. It didn't happen. Knocked forward by Finn for uh, Kelly. Ah, that was silly by Kelly. You just put his hand out. Once you put your hand on the player's back, it's always going to be free out because he was struggling there short out. If he just stood his ground. So we are going to have the a rover substitution and a Pat substitution. The Pat's one is uh, it's Ian Daly coming on. And it is Mulcahy going off. Mulcahy on the yellow card and uh, he's looked a little tired the last couple of minutes. So the rover substitution is Gary Twig coming off. And it's a uh, It's uh, Gary Twig off, and uh, so I wonder will Ronald Finn play in a more advanced position? Cleared only as far as McFall. McFall out to Danny North. Danny North plays the little reverse pass for Birmingham. Good ball in by Birmingham. Chance here for a oh! Kavanagh and Daly were fighting with each other over here to hit the ball, which allowed uh, Ender Stevens to nick in and but. It's here with a uh, good ball in again. Well read by Ken O'Man, and it's a uh, 50 50 ball here between Tender gets there ahead of uh, Denny. He played down the line for Kavanagh, who turns. was cleared by Sivet, but only as far as uh, McMillan. McMillan to Pender. Pender under pressure, looks at the ball into Daly. Daly force wide, finds Kavanagh. Kavanagh back in here to McMillan. McMillan plays the ball in. And um, brilliant cushion header by Pat Sullivan back to uh, Alan Manis. So it's uh, Alan Manis. Birmingham heads it forward. Sullivan can't quite get there. Kept in by Sivez. Played forward towards Dean Kelly. Dean Kelly gets ahead on it. And it's cushioned back by uh, McMillan to uh, Rogers. So just since the substitution, Pat's kind of it having a good little spell, asking questions or overs. But the long ball played for Cavanagh into the corner uh, does well to get a touch. And but his pass comes off McCormick, and out for a Pat's throw in to be taken here by uh, by Shane McFall. So it's down the line to Daly. Daly under pressure by McCormick. McCormick does well and comes away with the ball. Plays it in here to Ken O'Man. Ken O'Man gets it forward towards Kelly. But it's forward in here now to Daly. And Ronald, F or Ronald Finn, as you look to clear it, it was uh, blocked down by Shorthoff. And, uh, oh sorry, it was, uh, was Doyle who actually blocked it down and it's gone all the way through for a Rovers goal kick. It's about eight plus stoppage left here as Alamanis lines up this goal kick. We've had six substitutions, so we're probably going to have a minimum of at least three minutes. It's been no real major stoppages, but as Manis goes along and he's looking for Billy Denny, and Billy can get that. And he's controlled the ball well. He's got faced by Pender, and he's turned Pender inside out, but Pender's got back. This ball in. It's dropped to Ronald Finn. Ronald Finn has played too many players around him, but he gets it back to Billy. And Billy plays a low ball in. And it's Finn. Finn to Rice. Ah, no, Rice. He laid it back to Rice. He appeals for a handball there as the ball was played in, but. Rice's shot was a bit wild and uh, went wild. And Elfred Pat's goal kick to be taken here by Rogers. Is flicked on by Birmingham. 
and he looked like he made a mess of that and a great foot in by Conor McCormack and the ball kind of comes up off a of Pat's player and it uh, finds its way to Dean Kelly, finds McCabe, McCabe to Finn Finn plays the ball down the line for McCabe and uh, I think the ball's going to win that one uh, McMillan is just able to watch it out there so it's Rogers here again with the goal kick down towards Mc McMillan it's beaten by Sivez in the air and it's Billy Denny now under pressure by McFall McFall gets a foot in and finds doesn't matter get up Billy come on it's uh, Kavanagh down the line for the for Daly and Daly skips away from uh, from Ken O'Man. he's down the corner a bit of trickery from Daly and that's a decent ball in and Sullivan headed clear and it drops in here oh well done Stephen Rice and Rice gets a clear up to Dean Kelly Dean Kelly isolated on his own under pressure from Shorthall but he does well to hold it up and he's wriggled away from Shorthall Shorthall back but he finds uh, Gary McCabe McCabe looks for the run of Billy Denny and no <laughs> Someone threw a program. <laughs> Someone threw a program. <laughs> a program. It's a good throw. So, play it does. <laughs> if I were won by Ender Stevens, and his header will just go out for the throw in. And it looks like we're going to have another over substitution here. It's uh, Paddy Cavan, I think, is going to come on. As you move into the last five minutes of this. Second half, and the ball comes off Ender Stevens and out for uh, Pat's throw in. So it's Daly here, forced to go backwards. Good foot in by uh, Stephen Rice, and it's another Pat's throw in. And we are going to have this rover substitution now. It's Paddy Kavanagh coming on, and it's uh, Gary McCabe coming off. Is that a good game? So it's uh, McCabe on for Kavanagh. Another good game by Gary McCabe. But a uh, rare opportunity for uh, Paddy Kavanagh to get a run here. So the ball played down the line for Daly. Then good work by Stephen Rice, keeping going backwards. Alamanis cut off. Well done, Alamanis came to collect that uh, to a crowd of bodies there and he managed to get his hands up above everyone else and managed to collect that and that's a big relief for Alvarez as he goes long for Dean Kelly uh, clear well done Connor McCormick finds Dean Kelly Cavanagh to, Cavanagh, uh, Cavanagh to, look to play a little ball through but there's no one on the run and oh get on get on uh, well won by uh, and it's Ronald Finn here now Ronald Finn with his Cavanagh outside him Looks for the run of Dean Kelly. Right, uh, the path that Dean Kelly is over here. So, uh, three minutes plus time here as Rogers plays the ball forward one by Ken O'Man into Dean Kelly it pops up over Dean Kelly but uh, good work and it's Paddy Kavanagh now chance for Paddy to have a run oh no get in get in don't, make, don't let him play it easy well done Paddy Kavanagh I thought he pulled up in there for a second I think he just kind of tripped or something but uh, the goal kick now to pass the tank by Rogers well won by Ken O'Man and a chance for uh, Dean Kelly to get onto that short hold as well but it's uh, Danny to uh, to McCormick McCormick to Ronald Finn and Ronald Finn's got a shot but it's had a shot it was straight at uh, 
straight at Rogers and he looks to get Daly away but Rice does well just hold him up Stephen Rice and a full in no I think I think it was actually Rice that was uh, the judge to be fouling the foul on Daly there and Finn put a foot in so what well, I reckon we should be getting the uh, time matter on board any time now as Rogers goes on looking for McFall McFall I'd say Mac McMillan actually wins the header finds Cavanagh out wide and uh, Ender Stevens blocks it down and it's going to be a corner to Pats What are you sending two men out on it? So a couple of Rovers players out to stop it. Short one getting taken. Rovers need to defend this. Oh, and it's a goal kick. So I make it on time now, and here's the fourth official. It's going to hold up the minutes bar now. I reckon three, just for the substitutions. Manus goes on, looking for Billy Dennehy. Billy beats uh, Pender in the air. And Dean Kelly. Oh, uh, short hole just got in in front of him. Knocks it back to Rogers. Rogers goes long. For a minute, and right, there'll be three minutes. Uh, McMillan gets a header on, beats our man. Alan, come, Alan, come. And Alan Manus able to come out and collect that. So there is going to be three minutes. I already have it down, that's a uh, minute of that gone. As uh, Alamanis goes along with the goal kick. Dean Kelly was in an offside position, not quite sure. And it's a uh, chance for Pats to get the ball forward here. They basically have uh, Evan McMillan push right forward. And it's going to be Rogers to launch this. And it's a ball towards the back post. Won by Evan McMillan, but. That was an uh, offside flag, I think. So, uh, Manus is it's not the best, but uh, it's not forward, and Siva is no messing, gets it a good distance down the line. And Pete Mann playing ball by there. Birmingham, cleared by Sully, back on his fairs, back at Birmingham. Looks down inside, but only finds uh, Billy Denny. And th did he need someone outside him? There! And finds Paddy Kavanagh. Kavanagh to Dean Kelly. Finn to Dean Kelly and Dean just back come on that's it well done Dean Kelly ah uh, he's dispossessed there and uh, get on get on get on get on oh well done Billy Dennehy go on Dean and a chance to roll with Finn oh great the football is there oh Billy couldn't finish but that to me, that has to be the, the three minutes up. We're looking for the second ball. So, so it's Rogers with the goal kick. We must be on the blower now as the balls play forward and clear forward by Ender Stevens for a Pat's throw in. And uh, so so one last chance for Pats to get the ball forward down the line.